Hello there, my name is Crimson, and welcome to the Gulf Factory, the place where all the materials for war are right at your fingertips. Pre-enchanted and pre-organized, created for quick access. This all started because I wanted some pre-enchanted armor in my saved hotbars. Eventually, the list of things I wanted included the entire netherite toolset and the tridents. This was really inconvenient for space, and it didn't help that it grew even further into basically an entire crystal kit. Thus I made the decision to take all the stuff out of my saved hotbars, throw them into some shulker boxes, and put them back in. Using shulker boxes had the added benefit of letting me put more stuff in there, so I added diamond armor and a lot more consumables. This concept may have reminded a few of you of something. Canadians' escape kits. And although these two worlds have very similar structures, their purpose is still different. Canadians' escape kits were based around various prison escapes. These boxes take a step back and contain the items used to make these kits. Enough with the intro, on to the actual contents. Our first box is Reinforcement. This contains all of your armor, both netherite and diamond, as well as the elytra and shield. Our next box is Spearmint, and contains all the tools and their variants for netherite and diamond. It also includes the tridents. Third is Aliment. This will contain most of the common consumables. There are quite a lot of them. This is stuff like golden apples and ender pearls and stacks of things. A bit unrelated, but aliment is probably my second favorite word. The next box is armament. This will contain ranged weapons like bows and crossbows, among a selection of arrows, as well as fishing rods. Next is bombardment, which has all of the explosives. Then there is Enchantment, which does not contain enchantments, but potions. This is probably the most difficult one to make universal for everyone, as different people are going to want different potions, so I highly encourage you to customize this one. The filament box contains most redstone supplies. Yes, I'm aware that the box is green. Lastly, we have Concealment. And I'm going to be honest, this one was just here to get the number of boxes to an even number. This contains supplies for creating secret bases, so natural blocks, a few redstone supplies, and materials for a stasis chamber. I should also probably mention that there are shulker boxes of unstackable items up in the attic. And I must rephrase, this is not Canadian's escape kits. And that's all the content for this map. If you feel that there's anything that should be in the boxes that isn't, feel free to add to them. Now before a few final words, there are just a few questions I'm going to answer. First, how will you download this map? This is the easiest question to answer, as there'll just be a download link in the description. Question 2, how do you actually save hotbars? If you go into your creative inventory and go to the bookshelves tab, hover over a piece of paper, and it'll tell you the keybind. I believe the default is X. Question 3. Why do the names of the boxes all end in mint or ment? They're all named after the Plants vs. Zombies 2 plant categories, because I like Plants vs. Zombies 2. Final question. Why is this called the Gulf Factory? I don't know, it's probably in the lore somewhere. And with that being said, that is the end of this video. I hope I was able to inform you or entertain you. Until we meet again.